Ducks hockey is back. Kind of. We won? What? We got our first taste of preseason hockey in the Ducks vs. Sharks game. I was surprised by how physical this game was. It started with a long how fight, and I'll give the edge to the Sharks player. Players were getting knocked down in the corners, and there were some big hits. The ice probably wasn't in the best condition, considering I was about five rows back from the ice, in shorts and a t-shirt, and I wasn't cold. But after a rough first period, where they went down 2-0, the Ducks scored four unanswered goals and held on to win 4-3. It was great to see such a comeback effort, especially since that comeback started in the second period. Obviously, the results of this game don't really matter, as neither team was really at full strength. The Sharks probably were a bit closer to their actual lineup than the Ducks, but at the end of the day, it's about evaluating how the younger players have developed and whether someone can secure the remaining roster spots. Sorry this video was late. As I mentioned earlier, I was at the game celebrating a friend's birthday. Somehow, we all ended up with autographs from the entire Sharks team. I used to be able to do that with the Ducks every year. Hopefully, they improve FanFest this year. It's been a few years since I've been to SAP Center, and it's still my least favorite arena by far, but I've got to give the Sharks credit. They no longer do those annoying lights on the chair going off every stoppage of play, so I wasn't tripping out the whole game. What a concept. They only use them at the start of the game and during intermissions. Since this video is late, I'm not going to do a full-on recap like I usually do, but here are some of my thoughts on the game. Callie Klang kept the Ducks in it in the first period. He made quite a few big saves. I've mentioned before that I'm not a huge fan of his game, and that still holds true, but he worked hard to get through traffic. This is the closest I've been to watching him play, literally right behind him. He just plays nervously to me, but again, he was the reason the game stayed close. In comparison, Dance came in for his scheduled switch and just seemed much calmer. We'll see if they get more action in the preseason. I thought the line of Kachuk, Harkins, and Meyer was the most consistent, as expected, given they were the most veteran group. They really got the game going for the Ducks with a hard-working shift that led to a goal. The McGinn, Leeson, Nestorinko line also looked great together most of the time, mainly due to Brent Leeson, who looked like an elite center. He may have only played one game at center last year, but he was one of the best players on the ice. He even scored a filthy toe-drag goal, too. The Sidorov, Terrance, and Howe line was okay together. Both Sidorov and Terrance look better when they're away from Howe. Cito on the power play and Carey on the penalty kill. Igor added a one-timer goal on the power play. He still has some fine-tuning to do, but he's going to be with the big club at some point this season. He's a feisty player. He even stood up for Carey a couple times and wasn't intimidated by the bigger players. The Regenda, Carpenter, Caulfield line was by far the worst. Reggie was probably the most noticeable, but not by much. He did get hit in the face during the game, but did return. Defensively, Dionisio and Pesic were by far the best. Dionisio controlled the game well and even carried the puck in. What a concept. He's going to be fun to watch in San Diego this year. Honestly, since Pesic is a righty, I wouldn't mind having him sit in the press box all year as a backup. He was a pleasant surprise. The defenseman of the game? He was big, physical, and a perfect pairing for offensive defensemen like Dionisio which the Ducks do have a lot of young defensemen who are offensive-minded. We'll have to see how the rest of the camp goes, but Psyduck might have just earned himself a contract with this performance. But he really needs to change that number. Number three is no good. As for special teams, the systems don't seem too different yet, at least from what I can tell from the far end of the ice. Two of the goals were on the power play, though, so fingers crossed. I still saw a few drop passes, though, so who am I going to blame these on now? The penalty kill also had some breakdowns, too. Hopefully they continue to work on those, because from the practices I've watched, there hasn't been much focus on either of them. What were your takeaways from the first preseason game? It was just great to see Ducks hockey again. And guess what? We do it again tomorrow, or today, depending on when you're watching, against the same team, the Sharks, at 7pm at Honda Center. It'll be the first look at the new home jerseys in all their glory, which should be fun. Thank you to our members. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And go Ducks! Oh,